example 8, determine the flow rate in each pipe of the figure shown below. Also determine the elevation of reservoir C. The inflow to reservoir A is 515 liters per second. So here is the given figure. So knowing the inflow to reservoir A, we can compute it, the head loss. Then we can locate the piezometric the energy level at junction J. Then from there, we can compute the elevation and then the head losses of the other pipes connected to this junction. And from there, we can compute the discharges and head losses of the other pipes. So First, HF1 equals 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.025, length 600, 0.515 square over diameter 0 0.6 to the fifth. So the head loss is 4.226. Then let's locate the uh, energy grade line. Uh, 80 plus 4.226. So that's the energy grade line. Therefore, the direction of flow is towards A inflow so that's the head loss 4.226 then 90 let's locate this elevation first 80 plus 4.226 is 84.226 so 90 minus 84.226 that's 5.774 that's the head loss in pipe 2 then knowing the head loss in pipe 2 we can compute the discharge in pipe 2 so this is also Q3. So 5.774 equals 0 0.0826, 0 0.03, length 600, Q2 square over diameter 0 0.45 raised to 5. So the discharge in pipe 2 is 0 0.2677 cubic meter and it is out. So from the figure, Q2 plus Q3 equals Q1, 0 0.2677 plus Q3 equals 0 0.515. So Q3 is equal to 0.247 cubic meter per second. Knowing Q3, we can locate the energy level of this second junction. The difference in elevation would be the head loss in pipe 3. So head loss in pipe 3, 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.03, length 900, discharge 0 0.2473 square over diameter 0 0.45 to the fifth. So its F3 is 7.391. Then that's the energy level. Then the difference, vertical difference, is the head loss. That's the direction. HF3 is 7.391. We have just computed. So the elevation of this P2 here is 84.226 plus 7.391. That's the direction also. So the discharge to D is inflow as well as uh, at C it's outflow. So 91.617 is 84.226 plus 7.391. So that the head loss in pi 5 is 91.617 minus 91.617 meters. So let's compute Q5. And this is Q4, the direction. 1.617 equals 0 0.0826, 0 0.03, length 300, Q5 square over diameter 0.45 raised to 5. So Q5 is 0 0.2003 cubic meter per second and that is inflow to reserve body. From the figure, Q4 equals Q3 plus Q5. So Q4 equals Q3 which is 0.2473, Q5.2003. So Q4 is 0.4476 cubic meter per second. Having known Q4, we can now compute HF4. So HF4, 0 0.0826, friction factor 0 0.03, length 300, discharge 0 0.4476 square over diameter 0 0.45 raised to 5. So HF4 is 8.071 meters. Finally, the elevation of reserva C is 91.617 plus HF4. So elevation of C is 99.69 meters.